the EU is very proud to uh, support this very important uh, training course uh, which you are attending this week. Um, border management and migration are among the greatest challenges that the world is facing today. Um, and uh, the EU ASEAN migration and border management program, of which this training is, is, is part, uh, deals with this, I hope, in a, in a very effective way. Um, what we sometimes forget in all the political controversy about migration, in Europe in particular, but I think also in many of your countries, is that uh, migration and the increased flows of people acro across borders, phenomenon that we've, we've never seen as we have today, is first and foremost a very good thing. It creates a lot of opportunities. Uh, movements of people, migration, uh, creates fantastic opportunities for trade, for economic growth, for human development, for cultural exchanges, and for travel. So all of this needs to be welcomed and it's a great opportunity. Now, of course, as always, when there are opportunities, there are also risks. And uh, some of these risks have been mentioned already by, by Police Colonel Chosea. Um, there is a risk of uh, increasing transnational crime networks operating um, that thrive and, uh, and whose operations include migrant smuggling, trafficking in human beings, uh, environmental crimes, illegal logging, fraud and money laundering, and as the police colonel said also in some cases uh, the risk of terrorists crossing borders and infiltration of, 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 uh, of fighters. Now, in order to take advantage of the, uh, of the benefits and of the opportunities, uh, we need to manage and mitigate the risks. And I think this is where your role is absolutely crucial. You play an essential role in doing this. As law enforcement and immigration officers, you and your colleagues are on the front line to combat such threats. So good policies are needed to come from the political level, but at the same time, you and your, uh, your colleagues are essential uh, to put these policies into practice on the ground. So, due to the transnational nature of the current threats to global security, the way forward in tackling these threats must, uh, must uh, be based on cooperation among countries. And I think in no way is it so, in, in no other area is it so obvious that uh, cooperation is needed as in border management. In Europe, we have learned very much that you cannot uh, control and, and safeguard borders only from one side. You need to cooperate and do it from both sides if you want to be successful. And I think in ASEAN, you have come very much to the same conclusion because ASEAN member states have acknowledged the need for greater cooperation in these areas under the ASEAN political and security community. I'm also very proud that we, are, uh, we have Interpol as the, as the implementing partner um, uh, in this program um, because Interpol is a world reference uh, and renowned worldwide for its expertise in the effective management of borders. We trust that they will be able to share with you all the valuable and concrete expertise on how to effectively to address the challenges of border management also in the ASEAN region. We should not forget that um, organized crime can affect the most vulnerable people in our societies the most. I'm talking about children, refugees, young women, and destitute families. So it's very important in this regard not to confuse victims and perpetrators. That's why I'm also glad to see that you have a specific focus in this training on a human rights-based approach to integrated border management and also on special techniques for the protection of victims. So we do hope that this event will provide you with enhanced competences and skills to better perform your daily tasks and that it can help you in tackling transnational crime in your work environment and increase the cooperation among ASEAN countries. Um, that's why and, and in that way, you will contribute your part to the strengthening of connectivity um, among ASEAN countries and to render ASEAN stronger and safer. And that, in the end, uh, will benefit everybody, the entire world, not least the European Union. So with this, I wish to thank again 
uh, the our Myanmar hosts for 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 hosting us in this beautiful country. Uh, also Interpol for for organizing this training course and all of you obviously for joining uh, and and hopefully making this training a success. I wish you an interesting and a fruitful and a successful training course. Thank you very much.